Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're getting started with episode 8. And in this episode we're going to be looking at uh, block place events, so pretty similar to the last episode, uh, we're going to be doing a couple different, a couple things, a little maybe a little different, uh, but the idea is pretty much generally the same. So let's just go ahead and get our class registered right away even though we don't have it yet uh, that's okay because we know it's going to be called my events in this and then we can just go ahead and alt enter and we can go ahead and create this class so there we go implements listener all set up for us and then let's just go ahead and say uh, event handler so this is going to be a public void block place and this is going to be a block place event event so in this one we're going to be checking to see if players are placing a certain kind of block so like i said very fairly similar to the last video kind of really the same idea uh it's like all of the same code base except for the event name so we can really just go ahead and say block block equals event dot get block oh this is the wrong block there we go so now we can go ahead and say material material equals block dot get type and so we can say if if material dot get oh the if material dot equals material dot tnt we can go ahead and get rid of this block right so we can go ahead and say block dot set type material dot air and then let's just go ahead and say oops let's get the player so player player equals event dot get player and let's just send the player a message and tell them hey you know you can't place that block here so let's say chat oh pfft. you cannot place TNT so what we did there is the same as the last episode we went ahead and we got the block from block block equals event dot get block then we got the material so we want material material and then we want block dot get type and then we got the player from the event because we want to know who's placing it so we can send them a message or possibly uh, give them a warning if that's what you're trying to do uh, so we want player player equals event dot get player the next thing we did is we went ahead and checked to see if the material was equal to material.tnt. And if it was, we went ahead and we set the block type as material error because we want to get rid of that block. And then we are sending the player a message in red telling them that they cannot place that. So let's go ahead and install this. Let's go over to our server here. I'm doing this all off screen so you guys won't see any of this. And let's go to episode eight, targets, episode eight. Let's bring that in there. And let's run our debugger. Let's go full screen for you guys. Let's get our Minecraft up. And we should see a message saying that our episode eight plugin has loaded. And there it is. So let's go ahead and join. Cool. So now we're in, so you can see here, nothing happens if I place these normal blocks, right? But if I go ahead and say, give them like dbusic, TNT, and let's give us more than one, let's give us 10. You can see here that you cannot place TNT in the block, it's instantly replaced with air. So again, this will work in any and every block that you wanna block players from placing. You know, say you're making, you know, a game or something, or you're just making a custom server where, you know, certain blocks can't be placed without a certain block underneath them. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And be sure to join our Discord. We are almost 4K members. So, yeah, that's all I got, and I'll see you guys next time.